Hey everybody, this big, bold, beautiful tree is Catalpa speciosa. It's a northern Catalpa. And look at the, look at the fruit, the unique fruit, the bean-like pods uh, that are on this, this tree and the big, uh, giant, bold foliage. Now this tree is native uh, to Tennessee and Arkansas and actually uh, is thought to have, be native to a very small portion of the southeastern United States. Now that is before uh, settlement, but this tree has been moved all over the country. Uh, it's actually used quite extensively in uh, the Great Plains region, uh, but they think that it was moved primarily because uh, it was considered a possibility for railroad ties. And so in advance of the railroad moving west, uh, Catalpas were planted. Well, it turns out that it's actually not very suitable for railroad ties, uh, but we do see this now used uh, as a landscape tree in larger parks in particular, uh, places where you've got a lot of room. Uh, if you ever uh, visit a big old park, you're li likely to see a Catalpa at some point in that park. A big beautiful tree, uh, also now being used more and more as a street tree uh, because it is extremely tough. It's drought resistant, it's, it can handle a variety of conditions, uh, but a beautiful tree uh, that produces tall orchid-like flowers in the spring uh, that are quite beautiful, can really can car carpet the ground uh, with flowers uh, as they fall off in the springtime. Uh, but one you should know, uh, big bold foliage does create a little bit of a mess as the foliage falls down in the fall, uh, but a native tree, one you should know and be aware of. So the overall texture of Catalpa is quite coarse, and so it might be a little bit hard to place in the landscape. Uh, you talk, start talking to people about catalpas and they really are mixed on it if it's a plant that uh, really deserves a space uh, in the modern landscape or not. I, I myself think it's quite beautiful. It can be used quite uh, impactfully in the landscape. It's hardy from zones four through eight. It's, its range is native to the United States. Blooms typically May through June and so we would say that this is a very late spring bloomer typically. A beautiful tree, white blooms. Uh, with purple insides, which are quite beautiful, almost an orchid-like flower. Very tolerant of drought, clay soils, air pollution, and so it's a tough tree uh, that can be used uh, in a variety of different situations in the landscape. Here's a landscape tip. A mature, symmetrically round catalpa can be a tree of great beauty, particularly in spring when the foliage is young and the flowers are in bloom.